Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File and New to make a new image file. And I'm going to set my dimensions to 64 by 64 in order to give me enough um, size and so that I can see what I'm doing. The first thing I'm doing, I'm just going to pick a color. And again, this is just a generic fave icon I'm doing here. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and select the Paint Bucket tool. We'll go ahead and color that. And now I'm going to select the Text tool. I'm going to change my size to 65 because that's what uh, fits in the uh, square fairly well. I'm going to invert my colors so that my text is going to be white. Click in the space and select a letter. Now I need to center that, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the Align tool. and I'm going to go ahead and select the letter I just put in there, because that's what I want to align. And I'm going to do that by clicking here and here. So now that it's aligned, I can go ahead and flatten the image by clicking on Image and Flatten Image. And now I can go ahead and resize the uh, image so that it's the standard fave icon size. I just go to Scale Image. And in the first box, I'm going to type 16. And all I need to do is click in the second box, and it automatically resize it in order to maintain the dimension. I hit the Scale button, and now it's resized. I'm going to go to Save As. And I'll just name it Fave Icon. And the next thing I need to do is click the plus sign next to Select File Type. And I'll just scroll down to the ICO file type, which is what I need. Click on it, and click Save. That's going to bring up one more window, and all I need to do here is click Save one more time to confirm it. And now I've successfully made a fave icon with GIMP. For more tips, tricks, and answers, Make sure to visit MrFixer.net.